A lot has changed in the world. We've got the U.S. Supreme Court basically coming through with same-sex marriage mm -hmm. and making it a right. Unfortunately, in the rest of the world, uh, that is not the case. And here in Hong Kong, that's certainly not the case. Mm -hmm. How does it impact businesses? How does it impact banks like yourself? You know, Bank of America Merrill Lynch has for many years supported diversity and inclusiveness in the workplace. We were one of the first firms to provide um, same-sex uh, partner benefits. Um, our benefits extend to gender identity as well. Um, we've scored extremely high, 100% on the HRC surveys for the last 10 years. Um, there are a number of things that we do within the firm around the globe and regionally um, all designed to make sure that our bankers, our staff, our associates, our supporters all know that we support the ability for uh, people to come to work and to bring their, their whole selves to work. And does that allow you um, to attract talent in a way that perhaps competitors or rivals who are not as embracing, who uh, perhaps are not as open to same-sex marriages <clears throat> amongst employees mm -hmm. on this issue, have? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, it's interesting. Um, last year, the out of the out in the street uh, Asia summit, there were some really interesting statistics that came out of that event, and that event is. Uh, is, is attended by um, C-suite executives and seniors within the finance industry, legal industry, in business. Um, one of the statistics that was quite telling was um, of the LGBT attendees, at the age of 25, 73% um, were out um, in their personal lives, but only 24% were out professionally. By the time um, you looked at age 35, 97% were out personally, yeah. but only 75% were out professionally. If you think about the stage management that's involved with that 25% that are not out, that are advancing their careers, that are looking to develop to their full potential, that's a lot of wasted energy. That's the business point here. At Bank of America Merrill Lynch, we are focused in uh, making sure that we provide a firm that allows our associates to be able to develop to their full potential. It's one thing to have events like Pink Dot here mm -hmm. in Hong Kong and Singapore. Yes. Uh, it's another thing to have both Hong Kong and Singapore. Singapore, um, basically, homosexuality is illegal here mm -hmm. in Hong Kong. Same-sex marriage is not, um, is, is, it doesn't, ha it's not legal. Mm -hmm. That's one thing, mm -hmm. but what about pushing and lobbying behind the scenes with administrators uh, from a corporate level? You know, we're a global firm, and we have our priorities firmly established. First and foremost, we are focused on our people. We want our people to know that they can be safe, they can come to work, and they can develop to their full potential. That is very, very clear globally, and that's important. That gets back to your point on how we can attract and retain the best, how people can advance and move forward with their careers, move around the globe globally, and, 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 and have their lives and have their careers. We've got an awful lot of smart people at our firm, and we want them to develop to their full potential. When you look at the different political landscapes, being a global firm, we deal with an awful lot of political issues well beyond um, the LGBT uh, mandate and landscape these days. We want to be consistent, we want to be welcoming, and we want our people to do their very, very best.